how to never run out of things to say. We often run out of things to talk about. We either got stuck in small talk that died out or tensed up to the point where our minds went blank. Have you ever gone blank while talking to someone? If so, I'll walk you through an attempted strategy for never running out of things to say in a conversation. There are times when a conversation is meant to end and there is no need to press the issue. However, if you frequently run out of things to say, this guide is for you. Let's take a closer look. But first, if you're new and want to see more content like this, subscribe and click the icon down below to be notified when a new video is uploaded. Let's get started with the video. Alright guys, the very first and foremost thing you can do is 1. Practice saying what's on your mind When you first meet someone, you may feel as if small talk is awkward and meaningless. Small talk in reality helps us warm up to each other by indicating that we're friendly, easygoing, and open to interaction. People will judge you from what you say just as much as you will judge others for what they say. Instead of trying to be clever, say whatever comes to mind. For example, it's really hot today, isn't it? They sell the best food here. We just need to say mundane and obvious things. 2. Ask something personal This could be another way to never run out of things when you go blank out or to make dull topics more interesting. Ask people slightly personal questions. As an example, if you're talking about your job, ask, what do you like best about your job? What made you choose and then fill their field of work? What would you do if you could do any kind of work? If you're discussing the cost of renting in their city, ask them, where would you love to live if you could live anywhere on the planet? Have you lived in a lot of different places? Did you grow up in this area? You can make your conversation more interesting by discussing about plans, likes, dreams, fear, and so on. You just need to go on. When you transition the conversation in this manner, you engage the other person more and make it easier to converse. At this point, rather than just making small talk, you get to know each other. 3. Thirdly, focus on the conversation Sometimes we all can think about is if we appear pretty weird, if we are blushing, or if our heart is about to leap out of our chest. The key is to relax your mind by paying close attention to what the other person is saying. In a study on attentional focus and social anxiety conducted by Macquarie University, they discovered that when participants focused their attention on what the other person was saying rather than their internal reactions such as heart rate, blushing, and concern about how they were perceived, they were less nervous and had fewer physical reactions as a result. Because your mind will be preoccupied with what your partner is saying, you will not have time to feed your internal anxiety. It's easier to think of things to say when you're not worried about yourself. 4. Stop trying so hard Allow for silences rather than being on edge trying to think of something to say. Accept that it may take a few seconds longer to formulate an answer. Rather than attempting to make people like you, ensure that they enjoy being in your company. You can accomplish this by being an excellent listener. When you talk, you say things that you think are fun or interesting for the other person to hear, not things that are meant to make you appear a certain way, like humble bragging, talking about cool things you've done, and so on. 5. Use things around you to inspire new topics Okay, this one is my favorite. Just take inspiration from your environment and make a comment or ask a question about it to not run out of things to say. For example, I love these plants. Are you good at growing stuff? I love these puppies. Do you like having pets? It's so warm today. Do you like this kind of weather? They work great as inspiration for new interesting topics. 6. Refer back to something you talked about before when the topic you're discussing runs dry, feel free to return to any previous topic you discussed. Assume someone mentions that they're in the import business, and the conversation then moves on. After a few minutes, when it has calmed down, you can return to your original question about the import business. For instance, you could say, you mentioned that you're a lawyer, in which firm you work. Conversations do not have to be straightforward. When a topic dries up, feel free to switch to a new or previous one. 7. Be more relatable we like people who are similar to us. If you're wondering how to never run out of things to say, make sure you rapidly develop bond with others. You can accomplish this by pursuing mutual interests as much as possible, especially early in your interactions. Those who can do this well immediately come across as more likable. Remember that there are two ways to relate, logically and emotionally. The majority of people relate logically. Let's say you work in the same industry or come from the same town. That's a logical connection. But what if that isn't true? 
What if you meet someone who appears to do completely different things than you? This is the stage at which you attempt to relate emotionally, asking them about their motivation for doing what they do is a good way to do this. You can also inquire as to how certain situations make them feel. You can then tell a story about a time when you went through something similar. 8. Ask more open-ended questions Have you ever been in a conversation that sounded like an interview? You're just asking questions one after the other and the interaction feels rushed. If this is the case, you are probably asking more close-ended questions with one-word answers. Remember to ask more open-ended questions if you want to never run out of things to say. Instead of asking, do you like your job? You could ask, what do you like best about your job? Is that what you mean? The first question can be answered yes or no. The second one requires more of an explanation. Again, if you want your interactions to feel more effortless, avoid asking close-ended questions at all costs. 9. Look for mutual interests When we discover that we have something in common with someone, it automatically sparks a friendship and a hint of relief. Make it a habit to bring up topics that interest you. If someone asks what you did over the weekend, you could say something like, I met up with my book club yesterday, I went to the gym and then took my son to his hockey game, or I watched this harrowing documentary about the Vietnam War. Mentioning your interests will allow you to scout for mutual interests. If you come across someone who's also interested in books, hockey, or history, they will most likely want to know more. San, remember that conversations are meant to end. Not everyone you meet will be someone with whom you can connect on multiple levels. Sometimes it's just a little small talk and that's all the time you have. Time, circumstances, how you feel that day, how they feel that day, and a variety of other factors all influence how much emotional space we have for conversation. No conversation is meant to last indefinitely. A conversation is not a failure simply because it's brief. There is one certainty. The more conversations you have, the better your conversation skills will become. I just gave you my best advice. If you're wondering how to never run out of things to say, use them as much as you can and you'll have more engaging interactions with others. Let's now turn it over to you. Which of these suggestions are you going to try first? Please let us know in the comment section below. Also, if you like this video, hit the like button which helps YouTube to know your preferences. Thanks and have a good day!